Hello everyone and welcome back to another TSW2 in-depth analysis video. In today's video, we will be checking out the Baker Lou line and its 1972 tube stock. Before we get into things, I'm going to ask all of you to like the video if you enjoy it and subscribe to the channel for more content. The Baker Lou line, colored brown on the tube map, is a London underground line running between Heron Weldstone and Elephant and Castle. It serves 25 stations across 14 and a half miles of track. First opened in March 1906, it was originally named the Baker Street and Waterloo Railway. Many people started calling the line the Baker Lou line, combining the words Baker and Waterloo. The line's name was officially changed in July 1906 to the Baker Lou line. The first section that opened was between Lambeth North and Baker Street. It was extended to Elephant and Castle about five months after its original opening in August of 1906. Between 1906 and 1915, the line was extended to Queen's Park, where it connected with the Watford DC line. From then to 1982, the Bakerloo line ran from Elephant and Castle to Watford Junction until the line was cut back to Stonebridge Park. In 1984, the line was extended back to Heron Weldstone and the present day Bakerloo line service was instated. The line has three depots, one at Stonebridge Park, Queen's Park, and London Road. In recent years, there have been many talks about extending the Baker Lou line from here on Weldstone back to Watford Junction. It was projected that by 2026, the Baker Lou line would be extended back to Watford Junction, sharing the line with the London Overground's Watford DC line. Another extension that there have been talks about is extending the line past Elephant and Castle to Lewisham. There will be four stations, Burgess Park, Old Kent Road, New Cross Gate, and Lewisham. The extension is projected to cost between 4.7 billion and 7.9 billion pounds, and it would take about seven years to construct. Unfortunately, due to the ongoing pandemic, the extension is currently on hold. When the line was originally opened, it was operated by gate stock trains. Over time, the line got newer trains such as the 1914 stock, standard stock, 1938 stock, and 1949 stock. The newest rolling stock to enter service on the Baker Lou line is the 1972 stock. This train came in two subclasses, the 1972 Mark I stock and the 1972 Mark II stock. There were 63 trains built in total, however, only 36 of these trains are currently in service. The differences between the Mark I and Mark II stock are minimal, with small changes between the two units, such as the LED train number and dark blue seat maquette on the Mark II stock. The 72 stock's design is heavily based on the 1967 stock previously used on the Victoria line. Some of the Mark I 72 stock cars were modified to run with some of the 1967 stock trains on the Victoria line, and they did so until eventually retired when the 2009 stock entered service. These trains ran on the Baker Lou, Northern, and Jubilee lines until 1987 when all 72 stock trains were transferred to the Baker Lou line, where they remain to this day. These trains were refurbished between 1991 and 1995, and 2016 and 2018 to enable them to stay in service until they are replaced in the mid-2030s. As a part of the new Tube for London program, the 72 stock is set to be replaced by newer, automated trains, and the line is supposed to receive signaling improvements to increase capacity. The first line to get these improvements is the Piccadilly line, and everything should be completed by 2025, should everything go to plan. The Central, Waterloo and City, and Bakerloo lines are supposed to also get improvements, however, after the Piccadilly. The new trains are being manufactured by Siemens under their Inspiro series of trains. The trains were ordered back in 2018. A total of 94 trains were ordered and they are set to first operate on the Piccadilly from 2025. They will increase capacity on the line, upping it to 27 trains per hour during peak times and they will include a multitude of features such as air conditioning, LED screens, wider doorways, and a new open gangway design which has never been done on a deep level tube train and the same goes for air conditioning which should increase passenger comfort. With the re-signaling of all of these lines, the trains would be able to run in automatic operation. 
Unfortunately, the Baker Lou line is a long way off from seeing any new trains on the line, and until then, the 72 stock will continue to run strongly on the line. Thanks for watching this in-depth analysis video of the Baker Lou line and its 1972 stock. If you would like to see more in-depth videos like this in the future, like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Peace.